23 weeks, 23 weeks, 23 weeks, 23 weeks, 20, okay, anyways, I'm 23 weeks today. <laughs> Let's just dive right on into it. So this week, Baby Wheels, otherwise known as Kale, <laughs> is the size of a chinchilla. I dig you. Those little suckers. <laughs> I actually, funny story, um, when I was in college, I used to visit Petland a lot. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of, heard of Petland, um, but they let you, you know, play with their animals. And well, a chinchilla had gotten out the night before, and I was the only one that could catch it. <laughs> Yay me! And it was a white one. It was very pretty. I will never own one though. Those things are really fragile, very fragile. Um, and I have kids, and I had guinea pigs before, which is last week's size, and had to give them to a new home because Valeska just kind of stressed the heck out of them. Yeah, poor piggies. So still, you know, around a foot long and about a pound, maybe a little over a pound. Who knows? But that's the supposed height and weight of baby. We don't really know of this one. Oh well. But um, that is supposedly what their average is, I guess. <laughs> so basically the app is telling me this week that baby is just... Um, waiting on fat. So Kayla's just waiting on the girl and all that fat in his body. Uh, face is fully formed now so it ac he actually looks like a baby. Yay! He's kicking a lot which for sure is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned it many times before. He's a kicker. He's a kicker. And whew, I know when he's awake and I know when he's sleeping and right now he is sleeping. So I just ate. <laughs> Which I'm gonna have like a food baby baby belly when I show you. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is basically all he's doing. Oh yeah, and the blood vessels in the lungs are developing. So he can breathe air on his own when he's born. We're not quite to that, you know, area where if he's born now he could live, but we're getting close. Hopefully he does not get born in the weeks of 24 to 36. After that, he can come whenever. I'll be ready. <laughs> All right, how's mommy? How's mommy? Am I gaining weight? Yes, I'm up 10 pounds now. Mhm. Mm I have gained 10 pounds. <laughs> and that's another thing. Um, starting from now on, I... The weight's just gonna start coming on. Hopefully I only make it to 30. Hopefully I don't gain a ton of weight with him. Um, I did 30 with the two girls, and so I'm hoping 30 with this one. 25, 30, that'll be fine with me. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be 30 though. My hormones have shown. Tear, yeah. Um, so starting, actually they started last week. So I was very, very mellow, very laid back, very normal this pregnancy compared to my girls. I guess I was just a late bloomer. Kale was just, you know, late blooming here. Um, <laughs> today, for instance, bring on the emotions. I cried for 30 minutes straight. Mm -hmm. I cried for 30 minutes straight. Uh, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still on the verge of tears right now. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> uh, oh. Kale's awake. <laughs> um, he heard me. <laughs> um, there's really nothing I can do about it. I've cried maybe two or three times in one week. Uh, and then this one was the worst. I, I needed some adult time. It, it was so bad. I needed a shower. I needed to, to talk to a friend. Uh, because I was just, I couldn't control them. I couldn't stop myself, it didn't, no, no matter what. So I'm trying not to think about things and hopefully I can just, just level out somewhere because I still very bad I want to cry. <laughs> I'm a crier. <laughs> I, was, I was a crier with Valeska, I cried all the time. And with Erlen, I wasn't sure if I wanted to rip somebody's head off or um, 
or if I wanted to cry. I think I was so mad, I would get so angry at things that I would just cry. I think that's the only reason why I cried was because I was so angry at stuff and I didn't want to blow up in people's faces so I cried instead. And so this one, I'm crying again. I'm a big crier. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's not long. Um, I'm pretty much, I need to start looking for maternity pants. I have, I found another pair that I do fit in. I don't know where these pants have been hiding from me, but I have two regular size pants now that I still can fit in. Um, but my thighs have been getting bigger. It's getting harder to just kind of fit in the legs of these pants. But um, yeah, so I'm starting to have to look for maternity pants now and shirts I can wear. Tank tops are getting a little weird looking because the belly's definitely growing and they're getting shorter in the front and it looks weird. I'm wearing a tank top right now, but as you can see, I'm wearing a sweatshirt over it because I don't feel like digging through my laundry and finding a shirt. <laughs> so I just threw on a tank top and then I threw on a sweatshirt, which is fine because it's cold out right now. So it's like 50, 50 degrees and it's only supposed to get up to 57. So I can wear a sweatshirt, yay. I'm eating a lot. There's still, um, there's still not really cravings Mm -mm. Um, but I am eating a lot and it's not slowing down so bring on that weight that's another one <laughs> that's gonna keep me from uh, that's gonna keep me gaining my weight this is last few days though I've, I've wanted um, sweets I can't do too much of it but uh, I have definitely wanted sweets more than anything else Hopefully that doesn't last because now I'm like worried that everybody was wrong and I'm having a girl. <laughs> oh, I hope not. I hope not. I'm pretty happy with my little boy. I'm still praying. I pray every night. I prayed every night that he, uh, God blessed us with a boy. And I pray every night thanking God for blessing us with a boy. And now I'm praying thanking God for blessing us with a boy. And also praying that he continues to be a boy. <laughs> I'm still eating apples a lot. I still do like apples. They're very good. And now I'm up to two. I usually do one and I'm done. But now I'm up to two apples a day. Mm -hmm. So definitely an increase of foodage for sure. Uh, they say that uh, this, this week, starting this time, around this time, is when you are starting to get in the risk of preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. That's gonna be interesting. Gestational diabetes is gonna be interesting because I didn't get it with Aleska and I had to take the three hour test with Erilyn because I failed the two hour, or the one hour, sorry. <laughs> I failed the one hour so I had to take the three hour with Erilyn, but I passed that one. So it's gonna be interesting to see what this one's like, especially, especially since my, my food intake is a lot different than it was with the girls. Um, hopefully I pass so I don't have to take that three hour one again, but, We'll just have to wait and see. And preeclampsia. I had, with Valeska, I had a scare with preeclampsia. And it ended up being just um, gestational, late gestational hypertension. For weeks, I was very, or for the last probably three weeks of my pregnancy, I was very high on my blood pressure. And I was definitely swollen in my feet and my ankles. Um, Thankfully it wasn't preeclampsia, but they induced me anyways because I was already at three centimeters, so they induced me. And then the test came back normal, so I wasn't. I let every doctor know now because of her um, what could possibly happen towards the end of my pregnancy, which is another reason why we went ahead and decided to induce Erilyn. I never got the swelling in my feet with Erilyn and I never got the high blood pressure but I did um, get induced with her at 39 weeks because I was at three centimeters, centimeters at 39. So um, didn't get to see what happened with that. It did raise a little bit. I did notice it did raise a little bit. So we're gonna see what it does this time. Um, we'll, we'll see, I told my doctor and so they said when I get to be about 36 weeks, they're gonna definitely check me a lot uh, to make sure it doesn't happen again. So, <laughs> hopefully no preeclampsia. I haven't really had that issue, but well, we'll see. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Short and sweet. 
I... I mean, I'll... <laughs> I just have those huge, huge wave of emotions lately. That's my big thing. Pain is better. Pain is much better. I haven't had too much pain. Braxton Hicks are still there, mainly in the evening, or if I'm just kind of sitting and um, not doing a whole lot, definitely get them. And that's something else that they finally said on the um, app that Braxton Hicks can start showing up now. Well, mine started a while ago. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, pray these emotions go away. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. All right, so time for a belly shot. Shall we? Let's go. This is why I let my dogs out. And they're looking at me like, why are we outside? I mean, they're the ones that ran to the door, not me. <laughs> Anyways, here's belly. Put my pants down now, they're sticking out. <laughs> He's a baby. There you go. He's growling and he's still way down here. Way down here. He's so low. <laughs> Alright, so until next time. Let's see if you can see my dogs. They're like, why are we out here? Let me back in. <laughs> so till next time. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you later. 24-7.